Welcome to Electronics and More. In today's video, I'm going to be disassembling this normally open solenoid valve to show you how it works. Now there are two types of valves. You have a normally open and a normally closed. The type you're looking at here is less common. It's a normally open type. Water continually flows across this valve until power is applied to the solenoid, creating a magnetic field which pulls on the plunger turning off the flow of water. Most people do not know exactly how these operate, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble this and show you exactly how it operates. All right, now that the solenoid has been unbolted, I'm going to slide it out. All right, I'm going to take this piece off too, push it to the side. Now if you look at the valve body, over here is an arrow, you can't see it's molded into plastic. This is the water inlet and that's the outlet. Now I made these fittings because I had the pieces laying around, but they were not the right size, so I brazed them all up so I could be able to use this valve for my project. On the inlet side, you're going to see a wire sticking up right there. This outer ring here is where the inlet water is and the opening in the center is the outlet. If you take a look at the plunger, it might be hard to see but there's a hole right there. It's a pinhole and in the center of the disc is another hole. That little wire goes over that hole. Hopefully I can do this while I'm doing the camera at the same time. All right, there it goes. So when the water pressure comes on, water is going to leak around that little wire into that hole, into this chamber here. When it does come in, there's a little hole in the center that's going to let that same amount of water pressure through that opening out through this opening. The holes are very similar in size, so as long as there's an opening here and an outlet there of the similar size, water will flow directly through it and the disc will not have any pressure pushing downward to make a tight seal. If we take a look at the plunger, this is the part that goes inside the solenoid, like this. All right. In the middle is a little rubbery piece, it looks like vinyl, and what happens with that, when the solenoid is triggered, there's a piece of metal in here connected to that piece of vinyl. I'm going to use a magnet to hopefully show you if I can slide it out. Wait. It's a little difficult to do, but I just slid it out off camera, it was easier. But you can see the little middle part there popped up, right? Let me remove the magnet and you see it push back down because it's spring-loaded. What happens, once that solenoid is triggered, that little vinyl piece in the center seals the hole in the middle going to the outlet. Once that hole is sealed, the incoming water pressure builds on this side of the rubber diaphragm and the disc, causing it to push downward. When it pushes downward, the valve is sealed not allowing any water to flow from the inlet to the outlet. It's pretty simple and it works extremely well. So in order for this not to seal off, the diaphragm would have to be faulty or the little vinyl piston in the center would have to not be pressing down on the hole in the center of this plastic disc. If you look at the diaphragm, you'll notice the edge is very tight for a nice seal, and only the middle part is what moves up and down with water pressure to create the seal on the valve. The hole in the center is the outlet, and that's also slightly lower than the inlet ridge, and the purpose of that is to allow the water from the inlet side to easily cross over into this hole for the outlet. The only time this rubber diaphragm will push outward, this direction, this way, is when the solenoid is triggered and then it will seal this hole in the middle. Alright, put that disc back in the way it would go. 
putting it back is simple. This doesn't make any difference how it goes. And then the solenoid, however you like it. I'm going to bolt that down, and that's it. And that is how this normally open solenoid valve operates. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.